today's activity is going to consist of several different things for you guys to do today. The first thing to do is to finish watching the rest of this video. The rest of this video is going to contain nothing but pictures of different species of frogs. Each frog is very different and unique to each other. It's up to you at the end of this video to decide which frog you liked the most because you're going to pick one frog and you're going to make observations of it. By this, I mean you're going to look at things like size, color, and design of pattern on the frog's skin. You're going to have to make a sketch, draw, and color this frog to the best of your ability. You are also then going to, in a brief, short description, tell me what the significance of the frog's design and color is. Some frogs are designed for camouflage. Others are designed to warn off predators that they're toxic. It's up to you to research and find out about the frog that you chose. Let's get started. This is the first frog and just remember as the slides are presenting themselves to keep in mind which frog you may be interested in the most. Now remember, after you have your frog picked out, which hopefully you do, and if not, we can replay this video again, you're going to need to research your frog, and you're going to have to make a drawing of your frog, then color it, and also give the short description of what the purpose of the frog's shape, size, design, and color all are. For instance, the frog on the far right with the arrow on it, you can barely see it next to the tree. So obviously, this frog's purpose of design and color is going to be for camouflage. <laughs> 